toward heaven as he went up. Behold, two men stood by him with white hair. Yeah, because the disciples sitting there watching like, wow. Do y'all see that? <laughs> they were sitting like bugged out like, wow. Go ahead. <laughs> well, they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up. Oh, two men stood by them in white apparel. Yeah, two men stood by in white apparel, and that's those angels. Go ahead. Which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Heaven's the sky. Go ahead. This same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you in heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Yeah, so they said, Don't be all amazed. You're looking at him. He got went up into the sky. He said he's coming back the same way. So when the Lord returns from returns to the earth, he's coming out the sky. He's coming out the heavens. That's all through the scriptures too. I tell you that uh, when the Lord returns to the earth, He's coming with legions of angels. He's coming with legions of angels. He's coming with the, all the holy hosts of heaven, and that's the so-called UFOs. They're gonna come out the sky. They're coming from outer space through the atmosphere to the earth, and they're gonna tear shit up. Tear shit up. Excuse my language. That's the only way to explain it properly. Excuse my language. That, that's a good one. Let me check this out. Just baking grease. Is... I got a YouTube channel on Redneck. You like him talking, man, talking about cars and cars. Yeah. He's, the, he's the funniest motherfucker I've seen in years, literally. He is a clown, man. Yeah, because oh. yeah, a lot of them Jakes are, I mean, a lot of them uh, Rednecks are Israelites. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Appalachians. Because you got a lot of people claiming to be teaching the Bible. If, any, if they see any redneck talking that hillbilly shit, they automatically call me Edomite. Esau. Well, chances are most of them hillbillies are uh, them uneducated, retarded ass hillbillies and Israelites. Jeez. Well, fucking Esau don't act like that, man. Esau ain't under the curse. He's a, he ain't under the curses. A lot, yeah, exactly. He's not under the curses. All these hillbillies, bro, they under the curses. All they be doing is getting gone off that juice. They be get, drinking that moonshine, that white lightning. You know what I'm saying? They take stupid to them. Yeah, they take, yeah, they, exactly. They they fit that description of Israel as being, uh, my like Jeremiah 4, 22 says, my people is foolish. They have not known me. You know what I mean? They are sad as children. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. That That's a description of an Israelite. Just some foolish, foolish motherfuckers, man. It's foolish. A lot of y'all ain't got spiritual detectors, man. Go ahead. They, 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 they yeah. raised the stuff thinking that's the Lord, man. They looking at it brother. Oh, yeah. Well, they can read. They tell you right there. Kids are smart, man. They're smart. They be, they be knowing how to read, too. Yeah. You know, they teach the mom and dad how to read. Them hillbillies can't read. Hell, man. <laughs> this is on the board again. This is Ephesians 4 and 6. One God and one Father of all, who is above all, and to all, and in our all. But unto every one of us is given grace and faith to the measure of the gift of the Messiah. What did he say? When he ascended up on high. When he ascended up on high. Go ahead. He, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he is also descended first into the lower parts of the earth. Where are you at? This is Ephesians 4. Oh, wow, that's a good one. Right. That, that goes, sounds very similar to that Psalm 68. Go ahead. Well, he that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens. That he might fill all far up above all heavens. <laughs> right, because the Lord, it, the scriptures tell you that the, uh, the heaven is the Lord's throne and earth is his footstool. So what do you think's up there in outer space? Actually, we don't even know. You claim scientists claim they done send a, a, a satellite to Jupiter. That's all bullshit, man. That's some bullshit, bro. Them fake ass pictures, Mars pictures they be showing y'all. That shit look like CGI, bro. Shit fake as hell. And you know when you read the comment boards, they be clowning. Everybody else knows it's fake too. Yeah, a lot of people know it's hip too. Everybody woke up, man. Everybody woke up. All, 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 
Like they, they don't, we don't know what all them stars and all that is. That goes to Jeremiah. Because if no, they say the stars are uh, uh, suns. You don't know that. Maybe they are. I don't know. They don't know what the Ain't no. Tell me when you go to another star, holler at me. Right. That's all I'm saying. Give me some. You know what I'm saying. Give me some proof. Right. Because as far as I'm concerned, when you look at through a telescope, it looks weird as fuck. You know. Like, well, look at the planets through through a, a binocular telescope, they look like stars anyway. Yeah, they Unless look, you got a high power one that's zooming in. They look weird. You know? What's the color telescope I got? You, it's blurry, but you can see it's, you know, it's color. Because why, why did them, there's something mysterious about the stars, because the scriptures tell you that uh, you're supposed to use them stars for signs, for seasons. Navigation. And navigation, you know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. It's not just a bunch of random shit that just floating around. Yeah, they can't make it to the bottom of the ocean. How they gonna get to the moon? That don't even make no sense. This is uh, Jeremiah 31 and 35. Thus saith the Lord, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinance of the moon and of the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea when the waves roar thereof, roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. If, if those ordinances depart from before me, said the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease to be a nation before me forever. Oh, that ain't never gonna happen. Because the stars, they... And they say that everything, and the, they say the Earth is flying through the uh, space of like thousands of miles per hour, and the, the, the <laughs> universe. Of course, with another galaxy. They'll say everything's just flying through space fast. They say the universe is uh, expanding. <laughs> yeah, how come the stars are in the same place every day? <laughs> Your wisdom is foolish, man. They say there's nothing faster than light, right? Right. If they say light is like. 300,000, I know I'm That's what they say. Yeah, yeah, something ridiculous. 300,000 miles a second. But they said they captured out there on their on their bullshit telescopes two galaxies passing each other over a million miles an hour. These motherfuckers is bugged out, man. And this is just the other day, man. It's all bullshit. They also say that the, <laughs> they say that a star blows up and shit. I forgot what they call right, it. Right, a solar uh, they ain't never said something they, like that. Solar prominence when it blows up. They ain't never. Oh, they say it uh, turns into a white dwarf after it blows up, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, that's when it blows up. It goes white dwarf first. Then it explodes into a black hole. Yeah, then, then it, it turns into... Then it <laughs> wait, when have y'all witnessed that? <laughs> when, when have they said so they just making shit up, bro? Oh, How can, you can't prove that. <laughs> It's funny, man. It's funny, man. Right. That's some bugged out. I mean, it sounds interesting. I mean, it sounds sounds like it might sound legit. You know what I mean? But that's just some made up shit, bro. They just made that up. That's all. And they've been theorizing about black holes for. They don't even know if a black hole even exists. They ain't never, ain't never seen one. They don't know what that dark matter is. Yeah, they don't know what dark matter is. As they shoot, nothing. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> anyway, let me continue on. Um, if those ordinances depart from me, before me, said the Lord, like the moon coming out, because the moon is always on point. As all these years ago, by the moon is always going to be on point. And check this out. What's even bug more bugged out than that is how come when you got an eclipse, if everything just happened by random chance, do the shit? Oh, they were crossed though. They see it. But how, when there's an eclipse, how come the moon is exactly the same size as the sun? <laughs> Explain that. It's just by a chance, right? And everything. And they're, remember, they're flying through the galaxy a, a thousands of miles an hour, but they, the moon and the sun could line up perfectly, perfectly. Every eclipse, exactly the same size. Explain that. Y'all can't explain that. I mean, we can explain it, obviously. The Most High put the eclipses up, put the moon in place. The Most High put the sun on a circuit and on a course. And it don't move from that course. It stays that course. Right. Um, says the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease to be a nation before me forever. Thus said the Lord, if heaven above can be measured, 
and the foundations of the earth searched out. Beneath, I will also cast off all the seed of Israel for all that they have done, right. said the Lord. So we're still here, right? It ain't changing. The sun go up and down oh, every day. That's a good point, though. Because, you know, really, you don't even need clocks and calendars. The stars are, the stars and the sun and the moon is the calendar. That's a, that's a clock, boy. It, it, it keeps on ticking. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need a watch, bro. Just look what time of day it is. Look at the sun, bro. Just look at the moon. There you go. Look at the sun. What do you mean what time of day is it? It's overhead. It's, you know, you know what time it is. You, you know what day. But Esau got to be all about control. You know what I'm saying? Look what it is now. So they came up with this bullshit, 12 o'clock, it's 5 past 12. Oh, you're late for work by five minutes. You're fired. Fucking faggot shit, man. Here it is, most high made the clock, gave you the clock. Y'all got to come up with your own clock. What kind of faggot shit is that? You got Sinead O'Connor. Yeah, she look like Sinead O'Connor. Right, what's up? Actually, not. Oh, yeah, Sinead O'Connor got a body too. Yeah, that bitch can sing. She crazy as hell too. Bitch crazy. Crazy ass Irish bitch. Got all kind of dicks in her. No wonder she crazy. They shall fear thee as long as the sun and moon endure throughout all generations. Yeah, right, exactly. The sun and the moon, they're going to endure forever. Yep. Yep. Forever, ever. Yeah, he's pointing the moon for seasons. Did the word month come from the word moon? The word month and moon mean the same thing. That's why in this fucked up uh, world we live in now, it could be a new moon and be in the middle of the month. What kind of sense does that make? How you gonna have a new moon in the middle of a month? That don't even make no damn sense. Because the new the month begins with the new moon. And that should be common sense. But people don't even know about it. These people don't even know what a new moon is. They don't even pay attention to the moon. Or to the stars, you know what I mean? It, <laughs> hey, their minds constantly is focused on earthly things, not heavenly things, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a parable for you, bro. 16 and 21. It is a tempest which no man can see, for the most part of his works are hid. So, what the fuck he saw? Just making all that big bullshit. All that bullshit, bro. But only we can come in those secrets and tell you those secrets how it began. Right, because it. You know, you got scientists arguing with each other whether black holes even exist or not. But they teaching you in school that it's real. You know what I mean? The Big Bang, they all this never bullshit. Seen shit get stuck in black hole. They sent a drone out and got stuck in black hole. They never seen it again. I seen a black hole. I seen you how they That bottomless pit, boy, murder your boy. Yeah, I remember that one dude. He tried to tell me that the bottomless pit revelation was the uh, the bottomless pit was the black woman's pussy. It is. <laughs> That's, he, he he was serious too, man. He was really serious. at your own risk. They made such an uproar and they put their sign up out there. New York and Washington or whatever about the woman. Uh, you know about her pussy. What did it say? Or death. The woman, you know, abortions. Oh, it said the, uh, the most dangerous place right. for, uh, for a black child is inside of a black woman's womb. It's inside the mother. Hey, that's true though. So the spirit of somebody. Yep. 
Now we got these, you seen them, they, I don't know if they're still out there, but they've been out there for like the past two, three years out there on the east side. They got them uh, Christians protesting that Planned Parenthood building. They've been out there faithful every day. To be honest with you, some of these people should have been aborted though. So when you really look at it. Oh, really? Why would you want to bring a child in this world? Yeah, you bring that's a fucking curse. Joe, Joe. Hey, the scriptures say a day of one's uh let me get that. Uh the day of uh day of death is better than birth. Ecclesiastes. Yes, Ecclesiastes. That's in Ecclesiastes 7. Um, this is Job 3 and, um, and 11. Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the spirit when I came out of the belly? Job is saying that why didn't that a belly before he choked his ass out? There's a lot of babies born that way. Come out dead already, man, because they were choked to death by the belly. Lucky them. Uh, why did the knees prevent me? Why the runs that I sh should suffer? For now should I have lain still and been quiet, I should have slept, then had I been at rest. Job was in his bed. Yeah, he, he cursed his life. He cursed the day of his birth. Hey, the scriptures say uh, he that loves his life shall lose it. And he that hates his life shall find uh, life in turtle. Right, go ahead. I was looking for that. I was looking for that one in uh, Ecclesiastes. I know it's Ecclesiastes 7, ain't it? Isn't it 7? Is it? I'm not I'm right here, I'm just not seeing it. It sure is. I'm like looking all the way past the first one. Ecclesiastes 7 and 1. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. Check that out. These people love their life, man. They got that pride of life on them. Ain't nothing to love about this life. This shit is miserable. All this vain ass bullshit out here. The Lord said, sacrifices, sacrifice the Lord sent. What's the paraphrasing? Uh, contrary heart. You know, yeah. Broken heart and shit. Not, yeah. Not all. Not all. You got the broken heart. One's mourning. He's the one, you know, that's the sacrifice to the Lord. There that's, you go. That's why the Lord said, Bless her those that mourn. Uh, bless her the meek, the meek, to be lowly and meek. What does it mean to be lowly and meek? That they're having that pride of life on you, loving your life, that's not being meek. You know what I mean? Here you go. Sharap 7 34. Fail not, fail not to be with them that weep, and mourn with them that mourn. More with them, they'll more. Hey, we more with them, they'll more. We feel your pain, man. Be not slow to visit the sick, for that shall make thee to be the love. Sick. Oh, they're definitely sick. They didn't need of a physician. I wish you get more of that Ecclesiastes 7. Ecclesiastes, uh, I'll read it again, 7 and 1. A, a good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. Like we, each brother just read that scripture. We're going, you know, we feel the pain in people that's out here mourning. That's why you're supposed to be showing mercy and compassion on these fools out here, bro. The, on the ones that who deserve to be shown mercy. Like these people out here mourning, like you got homeless people. Hey, like we was talking about prostitutes earlier, but a lot of them prostitutes, they don't want to be doing that shit. They have to to survive. They out here, they out here mourning. So we mourn for them. You know what I mean? 
we were more for all these people that's living this rough ass, rough ass life. It is better to go to the house of mourning than go to the house of feasting. For that, right now. yeah, they the Memorial Day. He getting full in their bellies full of swine's flesh. They got the grills out. Uh, ha having a memorial for the American soldiers that went and terrorized the other nations on the earth. Yeah, talking about they protect our freedoms. Like we was talking earlier, how the uh, how you protecting America's freedom by fighting Afghanistan's a living mountain? How is the Afghanistan a threat to our freedom? Explain that to me. Like, were they gonna come over here swimming on camels? You know what I mean? They gonna they gonna hop on a camel, put some flotation little floaties on the camel's arm, paddle, get some oars, paddle them across the ocean, and hit us with a suicide bomb. Libya, Afghan, uh, Libya, Iraq, they laid waste, but they're still being occupied. Yeah, yeah. You ever see Iraq stage an invasion coming to America? The, the movie. I'm like, hey, you never seen the movie? <laughs> Some bullshit, bro. It's not a threat to our freedom. You know who a threat to our freedom is? It's not these other countries. It's America is a threat to our freedom. The I government. already know that. That's bro. a fact. I already know that. that I, I got uh, underground tape from some uh, girls that uh, had like escort services that wanted us to be a bodyguard, to take them to uh, Australia and showed me an underground tape of the Clintons killing 201 people. Woo! Damn. They, they, and it's a documented fact from right. the library. Right. And it started with that Whitewater thing. And every time right. somebody found something out, yeah, and they that. found out they killed their friend, they killed, them all they killed them too. Yeah, they just mad. They're gangsters. Listen, we gave it up a long time ago. Ruby Ridge tried to fight and stuff, but it was too late. There's pants yeah. out there now. They got all our money. They got, uh, they're going to do that, uh, uh, Shut the whole system down. They did a, a little thing in Detroit. Yeah. They did it in New York. They trial shut everybody runs. down on the trial bridge. Runs. Yeah. yeah, dry yeah. runs. Trial they runs. got uh, Hillary Clinton uh, was CEO of Walmart. There's 300 yeah. Walmarts closed down that are prison camps. Right. They're right. ready to do that FEMA Marshall bullshit. Lock Ma Marshall. Yeah. Now, see, yeah. I just I was just with a 29 year old lesbian that I was going to the Virgin Islands with because I laughed. I goes, nobody's right. gonna go blow up the palm trees. <laughs> but you, you you guys are right. And, uh, People don't see it coming. Right. And then that whole Trump thing, there was supposed to be shit just from that because they're striking for that. But how fuck the fuck hey, the government. Imagine if he got impeached, the, the chaos that's going to rise. Yeah. Fuck the government, man. Right. They, right. But we did it. We let that happen. That's right. They took that's the right. church, right. out, the, the God out of the church, that's right. that's out of the right. schools. Right. out of that. Right. Dude, we stood there and just said, oh, okay. Waking up, man. The forefathers were the greatest people in the fucking world, dude. Up, they spent all their fucking time, some rich, some poor, right, right, making right, sure we were right. protected for hundreds of years, yet the judge goes, nah, fuck them. We're just going to change it. There you go. There that's you bullshit, go. See, dude. That's an example of people waking the fuck up. Yeah. Right? There ain't enough, you know? though. And 9-11, when 9-11 happened, for three months, everybody was cool as shit, helping each other, mm -hmm. sharing, do it. And then three months later, it beeped the horn and fuck you, get out of my way. <laughs> uh, we're back to God's normal. God's honest truth, we're right? We're back to normal. <laughs> yeah, back, yeah, back. It, normal would suck. <laughs> Right, that's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's well, what, hey, look, I, hey, I got a scripture though. Hey, get that. Uh, this place gonna implode, man. Get it's that, a matter uh, of time. They're man. putting everybody in row houses, and they don't yeah. want them on their own. They yeah. don't want them on their own property. Yeah. 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 They, they, ta they was tagging mailboxes. Get buy that yeah. property, eminent domain. Ooh. Put everybody on the street so we can keep track. Well, of that's you. why they're surveilling everybody through the, uh, through the cell phones, the internet. Oh, hey, Snowden. Yeah. Hey, hey, that, you seen the movie? You see no, the movie? not yet. I'm gonna man, see. Man, they, they exposed some shit. Hey, God love him. Fuck that bullshit. And Trump right, said right, he should. Right. You know, Donald Trump said Snowden should be executed. Right. Because he exposed. Well, that's some fucked truth. up. I mean, he he's got some weird ideas, but like that's somebody finally stood up, and he was by himself. I, I think he, he, he yep, set up yep, too, though. Yep, yep. They're all set man, up. They he's a billionaire. Out some shit in that movie, man. I'm telling you, man. It's too. It's too late. It's, it's been, really it's been too way late. too late. It's been too late for a long. It, it's long just time. too late. <laughs> I laughed because uh, my daughter had like nine horses and shit, and I used to make a joke. I said, "Jesus is gonna come in on a white horse and save everybody." I goes, "Buy a white horse, man." <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that white horse is a chariot. Hey, read this scripture. Though. We they represent purity. I got a scripture for you. Check this out. Judas nine and eleven. For thy power is in thy multitude. Thy might and strong men. Yeah, so our power is not in the multitude of strong men and weapons and fighting. 
That's not how you win this war. Keep going. For thou art a God of the afflicted and helper of the oppressed and upholder of the weak, a protector of the foremost and savior of them that are without hope. Yeah, because we're without hope. So you gotta pray on the, we gotta pray to the Lord to deliver us from this, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's the only hope we got because nobody's sticking together. Exactly. Nobody everybody gives a shit about themselves. But it, you know, too, at the same time, that's a, a fulfillment of prophecy. The Lord said he came to bring he said, I come not to bring peace, but division. So that's really the Lord is the one that divided everything out here, bro. And I I'm 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 a big helper. I help everybody and all that stuff. I got yeah. people jobs, uh, heroin addicts. I used to want to do kidnap children, but the Lord told me go help the homeless and he made me homeless so that's where I'm at and then again here I go being homeless now I have to drink to find a place to stay and I'm not supposed to drink because I had hot problems uh, but I'm up uh, here on campus where they're pretty uh, generous they won't stuff. let you in unless you're drunk huh but, uh, except for on the other program because last year I went into detox so then you can't drink and you can be in the program but yeah. you got to go into detox but you can't go in there broke because as soon as you get clean you want candy bars you want an extra orange 